Hello everyone, this is Bradley. Today this is a fundamental tutorial talking about uh, split to instance nodes we have since 4.1. I specifically want to talk about something which will very likely be outdated in 4.2. It does not mean what you are taught today will be useless. It simply means that things may be a little bit more easier or different after that time. Anyway, so let's start. So here we are in Blender. This is a very simple setup. I have a fractured cube. Every pieces are a separate island that you can just move away in edit mode. And I have a geometry node tree, which is basically doing nothing. So I basically want to separate these pieces apart. And if I directly use a set position, you will see everything is being connected with one value offset. So it's not working. And if you take a random value, take a, a vector, probably minimum negative one, and we plug that into the offset, then it will be very chaotic because the value we're inputting is applying to every vertices by default. So we need an ID which is specific for every island. So here, let's take a mesh island. Yeah, mesh island node, which gives you an island index. You plug that into ID, then immediately you get a different whatever stuff. This is the kind of old way of doing. Um, in 4.1, we started to have a node called a split to instances, which is basically just a split to instances. And if you directly plug that in, you find you are not separating the islands anymore because everything is converged into a single instance you can assign a group ID so that you separate each island into a different instance for them to be separated. How can you find a group ID for every island? It's basically the same. You still use the mesh island node. And uh, so now everything becomes their separate instances. Like I have 35 islands. Now they become 35 instances. And everything is being separated without the need of this uh, island index ID because it's using an index ID in this case to automatically do this kind of function. Of course, you may realize this is a very awkward situation where it's basically doing nothing beneficial because it just adds one node to do the same function where we can save that. So what's the point of this node? It's very tricky to say the point of having this node. Uh, potentially, we can say that because everything is being converted to instance, uh, sometimes the operation of moving these vertices becomes uh, less heavier. But I don't have data to really prove because at the end of the day, hmm, so this is uh, 0 0.26. If I do not do that, Does it actually make everything better <laughs> compared to 0 0.26? Uh, probably not, but I don't know. Um, I'm not the developer who made this node, so I cannot really say anything. But uh, try to be optimistic that once everything is being converted to instance, things become a little bit better. Especially when you start to get the kind of rotate instance node. Um, it's easier to rotate the instance as a whole instead of rotating all these kind of different polygons and the vertices and so on. So I believe there are some beneficial parts. But what's really problematic in this case is that if you try to rotate these instances, you will realize something is not uh, expected. The major issue is that uh, you are rotating based on a kind of a world origin. So you may expect that each instance will rotate based on their own origin. 
and they should be separated instead of being rotated as a whole. Okay, but they are not doing so. The major issue is that when you are converting the geometry to instance, their origin is actually at their word origin. That's why they are rotating as a whole, because they have the same origin. So how can you make or how can you treat each instance differently or individually instead of rotating as a whole? You need to assign their uh, origin differently. However, the origin of our islands will not uh, work directly after this is split to instances node. To prove what I'm saying, uh, we can try to observe a fact that uh, if I plug this uh, origin center to our offset, you can see everything uh, spreads out because they are added with their own origin. So two times of their position. However, if I plug this set position, and uh, we offset after this is split to instance. You can see there is no change of the position because there is no value. You can also prove if you set everything into the instance domain, you can see everything turns black. You can further prove that if you look at the spreadsheet and uh, you look at the viewer, you can see every value is zero, zero, zero instead of some other values that you can actually look at at the point, whether it's a negative or positive and so on. Okay. So the domain difference where we transit from vertices into instances make this value not applicable. So what can we actually do? Some other times what I will suggest is to capture an attribute so that we get a vector, so that we are recording our information at this specific geometry so that we can pass it over. But it does not work as well. This is basically because this we are converging all these kind of vertices at this geometry into a single instance. And uh, there's kind of data loss during this process, which makes this process not applicable. So what can we actually do? We need a sample index. However, a sample index will also not work because as I mentioned, we have multiple vertices for an island. If you directly plug an index into index, then we still end up with a data converge issue that you can see that some of the data is being actually loaded, but there is not enough data to fill, and so on and so forth. It's a really complicated issue. I'm not going to discuss further. But I hope you can actually understand why this happens. And we are going to discuss the solution. So basically the issue is because we have too many vertices in this geometry, which is much more than the instance we actually create. So the way we are going to do is that we are going to eliminate many vertices so that finally the vertices count equals to the instance counts we have so that there is an index match that we can sample index. So the basic idea is that we are going to separate the geometry or you can also do the delete geometry or whatever. I do not really care. They're the same. So how can I actually separate geometry? So basically I need only one vertices for every island and I already contain the vertices indices for every island as in the form of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the first point, point is always zero in this trading. So I just uh, make the trading equal to zero and separate them so that you can actually see that I only have one point per island being created so that everything is being separated as you saw before. So 
So this is working, but this is being separated. Even if you set position, it does not help anything because when you split the instance, everything is already a cube. So what you need to do is actually to actually uh, set position and then into a negative value and you plug that. You find everything is offset into the origin somehow after this stage. But even if you set the position of your origin center, it's not really working to form a cube. This is the fundamental part of a field that because we separate the geometry so that the position value and island index or whatever stuff is being changed. So although they come from the same node, but the two data in different linkages are different. And at this moment, what we can do is to capture this position data. And you replace that. So you make sure every of this process is actually happening at this particular geometry without being separate and modified to whatever else. So now we actually recover all this kind of cubes or islands, whatever stuff. And you can rotate that, you can find all this kind of rotation is occurring based on its centered mass or average position of each island. Basically, this is it. This process will basically be the same, uh, even if it's in 4.2. What uh, will be likely different is this uh, separate geometry process, which you can do potentially more easily. But what will not be different is this process where you need to calculate all this kind of island position and you need to offset or also. So of course you can potentially make uh, most of the process into a uh, preset or group node. Uh, I have an attribute island. So I can set this island index and so on. So I can delete, 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 delete. I can also just the island index, delete, delete, delete. So that's to potentially save more process to make it more convenient and so on. And as I mentioned, the leftover process may be just uh, different in the future. That's my expectation. But the general process will still be the same. And uh, whether this will be ultimately useful, I don't know. Different people have different ways of doing. But the node is being created by developers in this case, so use that wisely. And of course, you can do the same for many other attributes, whether this is normal, tangents, who cares, whatever. So, I believe it can be useful, but I just uh, personally don't use it. But anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll probably see you next time. Bye-bye.